almost a third of the deaths could actually be prevented. Hey, this is AD Dolphin and welcome to another episode of Fact or Fiction. Ready, fight. Today, I have a new competitor, Brandy. Hello everyone, my name is Brandy, AKA B. I'm here to uh, put AD to the test. Hey, look, I know she has the nice, soft voice, but she's here to take me down, and I'm here to defend myself. For this whole entire month, we are talking about cancer. Do you know anything about cancer? Are we talking about the sign or no, no, medical no. cancer? No, 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 not the sign, the disease. Yes, I know a little bit about cancer. What's that? I actually had a grandmother that passed away from cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's why we're here, to get more information and actually help the people that we do know. So this is gonna be positive. Yeah, most definitely. We gotta get that information out there. Fact or fiction, cancer is a bunch of different diseases. I'm gonna say fiction. Any particular reason why? Cancer, I just know it as being the actual disease itself, not um, plenty of diseases. Well, good, because that is wrong. It actually is a fact. Ouch. Cancer is actually an umbrella term for about a hundred different diseases. Wow, I did not know that. What they all have in common is abnormal cells that grow and spread uncontrollably. So that's the cancer part. All the cancers tend to have that going on. The exact kind of cells, where they are and how aggressive they are, varies between the different diseases, which is important for figuring out the treatment. So basically what it comes down to is they can't use the same treatment that they would use on prostate cancer as they would use on breast cancer. It just varies. That's very interesting. All right, AD, are you ready for your question? I'm definitely ready. I think he's gonna get it wrong. Um, <laughs> fact or fiction, they destroy some cancer with lasers. I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna say this is my guess, but my first guess is absolutely correct. But I don't know how deep. You know what? That's a fact. Brandy, that's a fact. And I'm positive that's a fact. Your poker face is not there. <laughs> You're not a good poker player. Yeah, maybe not. But go on. All right, I guess. You're right. Oh. All right. This is a good tactic because the laser emit a very powerful beam and it's at a specific frequency, one that hurts just the tumor. Since the laser is so hot, it seals off any blood vessels. It causes less bleeding and scarring than any normal surgery. Okay, so that's the reason why they use certain lasers in certain situations? Yeah. I can get into that, but I did get it right though. Unfortunately. <laughs> I know all. Brandy. I think it was just the poker face. I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> Don't take me to Vegas. All right, Brandy. I see you over there. I I know what you're doing. Just so you know, I know what you are doing. Do you really? You're trying to act really nice, really sweet, speak with a soft voice, so you can get all of our listeners and watchers to be on your side. But it's not gonna work, Brandy. We just don't like you. Oh. <laughs> Factor thing, just to let you know, you are losing at the moment. But I gave it away, so. I mean, did you? Fact or fiction, 10% of cancer deaths could be prevented with more screening. I'm gonna go with fact. Why? What did you study in school? I actually studied psychology. Okay, so I, I should be I, in your head right now. It's, that part's not working for you at all. <laughs> I have taken uh, biology. You failed? No, definitely not. I got a B, actually. <laughs> you got a B? Yeah. B for Brandy? Yeah. It's not helping, Brandy, because the answer is fiction. Oh. Game over. No, it's no way. How? But you're wrong and you're right. And let me explain that. Almost a third of the deaths could actually be prevented, which is, you already know what a third is, 33%. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's more than 10%. So actually, if you do catch it early, it has a better chance that you can actually cure yourself. 
People need to understand screening, get more involved with it, and actually just go find out how they can get it done. More lives can actually be saved. Yeah, most definitely. That's why I thought I got it right. Can I get I a like half a part. point? Huh? A half a point at least? Half a I... point don't help you here. Wow. <laughs> it does not help you at all. All right, AD, are you ready? Yes. To get this wrong? No, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> that wasn't nice, Brandy. Fact or fiction, there will never be a silver bullet to cure cancer. A silver bullet, basically like some shot or something that stops the cancer. You know what? I really want to lean towards since there is so many different variations of cancer and some of our some of them are aggressive and not aggressive, different body parts. I'm going to say that is a fact. I promise he read on these questions. <laughs> There's no way you got that right. That was a brilliant deduction by me. Winner. Unfortunately, you got it right. Because like you said, there's a bunch of different cancers and different diseases. There's no one way to cure them all. Did you know that? Did you really know it? Like in your heart, did you know it? You know how I really got it, honestly? Why? It was your previous question. Yeah, that one, that's the one that led me there. I just felt like it was different methods to solve different variations of cancer. Okay, you're on your toes, I'll give you that. that uh, that's what we do around here. That's why I win. Unfortunately, you didn't win, but maybe next week we'll do it again. Next week, I got it for sure. For sure? Yeah, all for right, sure. Give right. me a give me a topic that I might know a little bit more about. You I'm... know what, that's not gonna help you. It's cancer week. Okay, there you go, guys. And thanks for watching Fact or Fiction. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Ask us a question. We are ready. And I'll see you next week.